Oh, good afternoon, beautifuls. It is Wednesday, January 23rd. It is dance day. It's latte time. Is that a train now? It's downtown earlier. It was foggy out and I took my camera, but there was no train. And I had to go get the key. So <laughs> I'm downtown today and I sell my crafts at the community center. And I pay for my shelf there and whatnot, like everybody. And I went in there today to change out some stuff. And, you know, da 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 da. And then I go and get the key and I check my mail and I go to the grocery store to get groceries for on the way home. And I go to pay and I didn't have my wallet. And I panicked. I hate that feeling, losing your wallet. And so I'm like digging through my backpack. And I use my backpack for freaking everything. Like I know what's in where. So I'm digging through my backpack and I'm like, it's not here. I said, I know, like, can I just leave my groceries here? I'll be right back. And the lovely lady at the store, she's like, I'll pay it and you just pay me back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I just had my wallet. Like, I, I just got to find it. And so I'm sitting there and, you know, like the panic subsides after a couple of seconds. And I'm thinking, I'm like, well, shit, I had it at the community center. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to close. I'll be right back. So she holds my groceries for me. Like, seriously, I probably could have taken them home if it was something I needed. And um, I go running back to the community center. I'm like, oh, lady working at the tail. I left my wallet here. Have you seen it? And she's like, no, I haven't seen any wallet. She goes, well, here's your bag. Have a look in your bag because they put our money in the bag. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It won't be in a bag. Um, it's about this big and it's beige. She's like, well, I don't see it. She goes, let's retrace your steps. And I hollered in the back office because I stopped to talk to her. And she's like, hey, is Cher's wallet in your office? And she's like, uh, nope. I'm like, no, I didn't open my bag there. So we went and had a look by my shelf. And I had left my wallet beside where my shelf is on top of jars of honey so I must have like pulled it out set it down oh right because I set it down because I had to pick up some money from there and so I had set it down so I didn't squish what was in my bag and I loaded my shelf up and then I left and I forgot to get my wallet from there so she's like is this it and she holds it up I'm like oh my goodness thank you so much that's my wallet so I made it to the community center before noon, before it closed, by like quite a few minutes. And so I'm just like, thank you, universe, for providing me a safe place. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. If that would have happened where I was before, anywhere else, like that wallet would have been gone. That's my identity. There's only a little tiny bit of cash in it comparatively, like, what, $20, $30? But my identity was in there. And so grateful today for this little town I live in, for the honesty of people, and um, knowing that it's safe. Like, it's fantastic, you know? So I am very, very grateful. So I went back to the store. And she's like, okay, well, I did what you said. I rang it in as debit. And I'm like, oh, thank you for trusting me. You know, like, that's freaking awesome. So I come back and, you know, <laughs> told her the funny story. And she kind of laughed because she also works at the community center. And, and she's like, well, I'm glad you got it figured out. And she's such a sincere, nice lady. And then, you know, I did what I had to do and I came home. But, like, seriously, to be able to have that kind of safety net, is it's security, it's safety, like... It's not something that you want to do or make a habit out of, you know. Um, but it's just that moment, that fleeting moment in time. And it's I'm, it's also a reminder that, hey, you still need to be diligent, diligent, diligent about what you're doing in your life. You need to be paying attention and don't get so comfortable it becomes slacking. Comfort, comfort is good. Comfort is awesome. It's great. But there has to be a balance. And I think today that was my lesson. So, yeah. That's what I'm taking from it anyway. <laughs> it's gently flaking outside. It is a beautiful day today. It's only minus 10. So, like, no snow pants going downtown and hanging out. But I did still wear my snow boots because it's still snowy. And they're doing some tree work down by the tracks, I noticed today. But I didn't want to get too close and get in the way. 
because you know trees but like ooh, down and around where I like to film the train time stuff right at the end of the block <laughs> So yeah, that is it. It's a beautiful day. It's a dance day. So I'm listening to awesome music. I've got a ringing in here that is just hitting my ears on a pitch. I hope you guys can't hear that. My voice is causing metal to ring. Do I need to whisper? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? So yeah, anyways. um, Sorry. <laughs> that is going to be it for me today. There's my lovely story time. Good Samaritans, having a safe place and eternal gratitude. I love you guys and thank you so much for hanging out here with me, celebrating the beauty. I will see you tomorrow. 265 Days of Gratitude is what we do. We make it bigger and bigger by doing it all together. I love you. Bye.